Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Today, we are drinking some drink, and I found an absolute menace up here. We're on our way back to the stable. But let's go ahead and get into a fight with Stalnox. This is big. This is one of the uh, other types of field bosses that we'll find out there, kind of similar to Stone Talus. You can see there's weapons embedded in him. He's not really weak, except for his eye. Classic Zelda boss design. Let's go ahead and drop him down. See if we can't do any damage to him. He's gonna pull off a rib cage and throw arms. Yeah, huge chunk of that. That was like two ribs. Jeez, dude. Club damage. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and switch out to... Yeah, we'll take a Soldier Spear. There we go. We're doing good damage on him, as you can see. Let's go ahead. Another stab or two in. Nice. Ah, oh, our Knight's Bow's damaged. Alright. Eventually he'll learn. He'll start guarding his eye. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's go and take a Soldier's Bow out next. Hey, Chu. Uh, what about you choose someone else here? Oh, yeah, he can take up trees. Got a big, big worry with this dude. Um, let's see. I like how creative they got with him, though. They gave him a lot of environmental access. Uh, let's see. There we go. Nice. And there's the eye. It has a separate health bar. Let's go ahead and keep damaging it. You're gonna have to come back at some point. Yep. Ah, oh, man. Let's see. How's Stalnox doing now? He healed a little bit during that. Alright, buddy. Ooh. One hit? That was one hit. Man, we were going to town on him. We, we gotta go back. Alright. Come on, if he's there when we revive... Oh, we are taking him down. There he is. Alright, ooh, is that, is that what I think it is? Yo, we, we gotta take him down now. 100%. There is no way. It's Stalnox. I think I see some really good weapons on him, actually. So yeah, don't worry if you're gonna break equipment on him. We, uh, we've got full reason to go hard against this guy. In fact, you know what? I know we put speed buff on for a minute. Let's try defense. Dog. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Third time's the charm. Let's go. Come on. Come on. You know what? We'll go with this. Alright. No! You! Hey, buddy. Uh, those. I'll talk about them in a minute, but right now, let me grab the money. And let's actually go and fight Stalnox for real this time, hopefully. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Come on, dude. Alright, now back away. <laughs> nice, nice. Rush in, hit him a couple times. And then run away. Come on. Please. 
No, no. Stop with the tree. All right, there it is. Hit the eye. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, run, run, run. Okay. Stop regenerating. Uh, let's take out another bow. Just keep the pressure so he doesn't regenerate health. Come on, dude. Okay. No, no. Come. Wink, wink, wink. Don't. <laughs> nice. Come on, I. <sighs> Man, we're getting there, but it's gonna be a tough one. Yeah, Stalmax is a tough boss to fight, especially early game like we are. But it's definitely possible. Right, dude, come on. <laughs> he's kind of stuck. <laughs> oh, he's trying his best. Yeah, he, he really is stuck. Okay. Nah, he, he stopped now. Buddy. 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 Come on. There we go. Alright, please. Third time's the charm. Come on, you don't have that much health. I know. You know. We both know it. Come on. Please, blink. There we go. Haha. <laughs> One boss down. And sure enough, we get some nice weapons from him. Let's go ahead and pick up the Hinox Tooth. Hinox? I don't know. Knight's Halberd. 13 damage on a spear? That's kind of nice. We'll drop equipment in a moment. Thunderblade. That is an excellent, excellent weapon to have. And then that? Oh, we know what that is. The giant boomer. <laughs> Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, reorganize reorganize equipment a second. And then uh we'll catch back up in a moment. Rensa had an exclamation point when we got back to the stable. Let's see what he has to say. They're wild, so to call them, it's gonna be one crazy ride. But there's no feeling quite like taming a wild stallion. Trust me, I took second place in the Hyrule Horse Taming Competition. Ah, second best, I see. Mm. Hey, I saw that look you gave me. He can hear us, I guess. Oh. Fine. You don't believe me? Let's go, pal. You and me, right here, right now. You want to challenge the second place Hyrule Horse Taming Competition winner to a tame off? You got it, mister. Maybe later. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? You would dare turn down a challenge from me, the second greatest horse tamer in the world, Orensa? Mm. Well, uh, I guess there's not much I can do about that. It's only natural the title of Hyrule Horse Taming Champion Runner-Up would strike fear in your heart. <laughs> but I, Rensa, would never run or hide. His name's not Runsa. Uh, come back when you have the confidence to challenge my taming skills. Yeah, maybe we'll do that a little later. I wanted to talk to Tasserin over here uh, to see if we could go ahead. Oh. We gotta talk to him inside. Uh, it's raining. I wanna see if we can rest until morning or noon. Oh, uh, yeah. Soft bed. We'll take a soft bed. And we'll sleep until noon. Alright. <sighs> Let's see, what do we got? So, regular beds will heal you normally. Soft beds will give you temporary extra hearts. Once you lose them, they're gone. But they're kind of good. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and talk back with Pris and Dominac. Hmm, they're talking about the riddle again. Just a little bit more and you have the whole thing worked out. <laughs> yeah, we, we already solved it. 
a liar. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely lying. <laughs> There's just no way a, look a rookie like you could solve a puzzle before Dak. Not a chance. Tell this guy to be it at Dak. Quiet, Prison. I'm trying to think. I just need a bit more time to solve things. Yeah, they're never going to believe us. That's fun. Hey. No. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway. Uh, we're here. We've got our horse. Where is our horse, actually? There you are, buddy. Uh, but I'm curious, who are you? Mezer, what's going on with you? You lost or something? Kakariko Village is way north of here. Uh, if you're not, if you're going to Dueling Peak Stable, it's not much farther from here. Most helpful man of the game, baby. Ah. You can usually find me at the stables, but if you can't wait, we can do a little business right here. What kind of business? I carry only the finest meats. I guarantee these are top choice provisions or your rupees back. Okay, you can buy some good cooking stuff from him. Ah, uh, let's see. Prime meat does heal a little bit more. Pretty nice. Uh, let's go ahead and buy some stuff so we can have some better healing in the future. Let's go ahead and buy all the basics, I'm thinking. Ah. Uh, what was it that he said? Let's see if he says it again. Ah. Uh, man, I think it was like, if you want meat, come find me or something. <laughs> Dog. Alright. Ah. We're good. Anyway, how's it going, um, horsey? What did I name you? Dawnstar, Dawnstar, there we go. Dog, that was like the last episode. Yeah, I know. Anyway, uh, we're gonna start moving on, heading to the next location, Kakariko Village. I know we still got all those spirit orbs burning a hole in our pocket, but don't worry. Don't worry at all. Who are you? Jute. I'm warning you, I only talk horse talk. Not, like, talking the way horses talk, I mean talking about horses. A simple type of horses, for instance. Fast ones, powerful ones, get to know what your horse is good at. Mine's good at everything. Or, got a good all around, I suppose? I guess, whoa there! Oh, it's just a normal person. What a relief, sorry for freaking out like that. Who are you running into all the time? <laughs> a little while back, just on the other side of Lake Ciela, I got spooked bad by this weird tree ghost, so I'm a little jumpy. Anyway, seeing as how you're a nice, normal person and not a ghost, how about we do some business? Well, I mean... Are we a ghost? <laughs> hmm. Alright. What do you got, Agus? Uh, -huh. uh, goat, butter, fresh milk, and bird eggs. Let's go ahead and buy these, actually. Um, yeah, we're typically not going to find a lot of these around. There is a good spot where you can uh, pick them up whenever you need them. But, let's go ahead and sell some more. We did pick up a lot of gems recently. So, let's see. We'll sell one each of these, I'm thinking. Yep, 260 bucks. And that was what? 230, 240, 210. 210. Alright, we'll sell that. Um, monster parts, don't forget about them. If you've been playing the game for a while, some of these can be really worth it if you've got a huge stack of them. But you do want to keep a lot of them still. It's it's a balancing act, of course. Uh, let's go ahead and buy the remaining stuff. I think it was eggs? Yeah. Take them all. Mm. Alright, thank you, Agus. And we will catch you later, buddy. Uh. Who knows, maybe we'll meet again someday. Or maybe not. Yep. Let's keep going. Yep. Bird! <laughs> that was a very quick uh, ride on the horse. But yeah, let's keep going. We got our signpost there. Horse trying to veer us off course. Still gonna take a while to tame her just right. And Kakariko Bridge. Ooh. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, score. Okay. 
we can go ahead and take you. Da, 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 da. Open the chest. Boomerang, attack up 13. <laughs> okay. We're going to be rolling around with the boomerangs for a while, it looks like. Ah, uh, let's see. The throwing spear is super cool. I love its design. But its damage is very, very low. Unfortunately. Let's go ahead and take the boomerang. So, uh, we haven't gone over it yet. The giant boomerang is uh, pretty similar. Boomerangs are... Uh, this one's a one-handed weapon. The giant one's two-handed, of course. Uh, so they function normally, like any other sword would. However, uh, when you throw them, they'll come back, and you've got a little button timer challenge to complete in order to catch them. Uh, you can just let them keep going, but then they'll just kind of, you know, fly off over there. They're pretty fun, actually. They do work kind of well. Blue Nightshade. Uh... I'm not a culinary expert, but typically you should not be eating nightshade from what I understand. <laughs> I think, isn't it actually like super poisonous? I don't know. I, I heard that from someone who... So I went to a tech center, right? Uh, back in high school. For my last two years there, I, uh, you know, studied cybersecurity and networking and all that kind of stuff. And one of my classmates there was in culinary school. And I think it was him who told me, like, because we were talking about Breath of the Wild at the time, because um, it came out when uh, I was in school up there. But we were talking about it, and I think he was like, really, you can get and cook nightshade in there? Because I don't think that's good for you. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like specific types. Ah. Anyway, um, Bagoot. All right. Bug boy, how's it going? Climbing cliffs is a challenge on a rainy day, even for an old hand like me. Best to just wet at the rain on those days. I'm selling a couple things I've picked up on my travels. Doesn't cost a look. You'll find traveling merchants all over, as you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Uh, they all have a typical like recurring theme to them. So this guy, he sells stuff that will give you an extra spring in your step. A lot of stamina restoration stuff. Pretty useful. The energetic rhino beetle, energetic rhino beetle, is actually kind of cracked. But if you don't want to be annoyed, don't pick one up. We'll broach that later on. But for right now, I'm gonna buy one. I maybe shouldn't be buying everything, uh, just because, you know, we are going to be a little on money if I keep doing that. But it is also pretty nice having all these ingredients that we can run around with. Also, we got a big fella up there. Uh, Mr. Broccoli is rocking it, I see. Uh, what's he doing? What's he doing up here? Also, what is that? That's a goat? Horse? Horse. All right, Dawnstar. While you're coming up here, Shalaka. Ooh. Yeah, you. You can see me. No. Shaloko. <laughs> then how are you talking to me, silly boy? Shalaza, Shalaka. It's been a hundred years since anyone's been able to see me. I am so sorry, Hesty. <laughs> I'm Hesty, and I need your help. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. Can they see them? <laughs> I think they're still on the other side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please get my maracas back from them. Alright, the priceless maracas. Let's see. This should be pretty quick and easy, right? We're gonna climb up here. Good. Okay. Target acquired. 
Uh, now we've got you nerds to deal with, and they are going to be tough. <sighs> let's see, let's see. All right, I got an idea. You saw me? I don't know about that one. Okay. Yeah. Check it out, check it out. Good. Alright, and we're gonna see if we can't knock him over the cliff with this thing. Alright, that's two down. They're still alive? Alright. Alright, what about you, though, buddy? Nice. Nice. Oh, you guys? You're right there? Okay. We gotta be very tactical about this one. Alright, you know what? Let's see, let's see. So we can't open the chest until they are gone. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, come on, buddy. Come on, go to the bomb. No, you're not gonna go to it? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Yeah, come on. There we go, all right. Think smarter, not harder. I guess you kind of got to think hard to... Yeah, it's a work smarter, not harder. <laughs> there we go, all right. Well, can't argue with the results. We got Hestu's Maracas. He's been shaking him since he was two years old. He's at least 102. All right. There's an apple sitting precariously on the cliff. Is that an arrow? Yeah, it's an arrow. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was a lizard a second. But, we got what we came for. Uh, let's go ahead and surf down onto Hestu in style. Shalakala, those are. Those are my maracas. Please give them to me. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. But wait, there's something wrong with them. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now? If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. Look, all the other cool god titles were taken. You know how many pantheons are out there? Anyway, let me know if you find some Korok seeds. Let's go ahead and give him all two of them. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and give him some seeds. So, which stash do you want? Uh, I'm thinking about it. We're going to go with one in weapon and one in bow, because we kind of keep a run out in there. Shield, we only have a couple, but eh, it's fine. Oh, yeah. Kool-Aid man. Sure enough, it's red. All that with one seed. da 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 all right, thanks, Hestu. You want to take one more? Let's go ahead, drop it in bow. And there we go. Alrighty, thank you, Hestu. Oh, look at the time. I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me. Sorry, I have to go. But I still need seeds, so finally, bring them to me. The Priceless Maracas. Yeah, so even if you have a bunch of Korok seeds, Hestu will tell you at some point, like, yeah, I gotta go back home. 
We'll see how long it takes him to do that. Uh, but there's Dawnstar coming to meet us, and we'll catch you back in a second when we're back on the road. Uh, let's see, there is a little puzzle here that you can see. Um, we'll go ahead and do this real quick. I know he said no more stops, but listen, it's like a 10 second deal or less. Look at that. Queen. And we already got our third Korok seed. We have 897 to go. <laughs> We're not doing that many. You can't make me do that many. <laughs> oh. No. Alright, come on, come on. We've got to break you open. Because I... Blink. Blink. I want the amber. Okay. Oh my god, and he's telling me there's a shrine nearby as well? <laughs> Alright. Welcome to Kakariko Village, everybody. Here we are. Our first real settlement. Let's go ahead and leave our horse at the gate. And we'll go ahead and take a look at the town while we're here. Traveler, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. Hmm, let's see here. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Say, traveler. Where did you get that object hanging from your waist? Well, I woke up with it. Yes, I see. That happens to everybody, actually. Hmm. A Sheikah slate is a symbol. It means that you are the hero of legend. Though there are few who know of such legends anymore. But we Sheikah have been waiting for you for a very long time. Please. Before all else, I must insist that you meet with our leader, Lady Impa. Where is she? Lady Impa's house is below Lantern Falls, just over there. In any case, it was a real honor to meet you. <laughs> I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we can take a minute to look around town later on. Let's do as told and go and check out Wizard Wizard, wizard, no! <laughs> Let's go ahead and check out the town. Uh, let's go ahead and check out these guys who seem very upset with us. Kato, you there. Who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? That's a chic estate. But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible, can it be? Hmm. Please, forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course, we've heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. But first... Do we have apples? We do... Before we go on, let's make an offering to this really cool frog. And its god appears and gives us some great power, being a Korok seed. All right. Well, Link, enough fooling around. Let's go on inside. Hello. A man. Huh? Is... That? It's a Sheikah slate. Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Lin? Lin? Um, no, it's not that I forgot it. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is P-Pi... Pi... 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 Pi? <laughs> oh, my name is Paya. <sighs> got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing as how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been waiting your return ever since I was little. Please hurry inside. 
I understand. Sometimes it can be really hard to talk, especially if you're commentating. And I'm certain that Pi is, uh, Pi is a commentator as well. Anyway, I'm going to go silent. Let's see what Impa has to say. This has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now. But you remember me, don't you? What is the matter? You were looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes. They lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa? Oh. I see. So you have lost your memory then. Oh. Well, it matters not. In fact, that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please, come a bit closer. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting 100 years to deliver the princess's message. However, these words, which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you were to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. Let's do so right now. Uh, when I first played, I got kind of confused and was like, oh, do I have to come and like do something else? No, you can just talk to her now. The words that the princess risked her life to impart to you. I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Oh. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most Powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land, should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. 
the divine beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was formed. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the divine beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. A hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. But, in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated this power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine be beast Varudania, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. Vameto, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. Varuta, controlled by Mitha of the Zora. And Vanaboris, controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the divine beasts to help you. You must infiltrate the beasts that were stolen away by Ganon a hundred years ago, and bring them back to our side. More information about these beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. There they are. The Sheikah Slate will guide you away. You must go to where it tells you and meet with each leader there. It seems to me your slate is not yet complete. The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide, and also your memory. Now, let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hateno Village might be able to help you. Where's that? It's here. The location shining in the eastern edge is Hateno Village. It is a small village. One of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. Locked Mementos. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. We've completed Seek Out Impa. And with that, that is going to be the end of this episode. We've got a lot more to do in the future, but we've made some good progress right now, mainly story stuff. We reached Kakariko Village. We've met with Impa. And we have a whole new place to explore next time. Thank you for tuning in, and we will catch you later on. Have a good day.